We have known for quite some time that Earth is not flat. If your nautical chart is flat, can it be accurate? It can be accurate, if you use it the right way. Most nautical charts are in Mercator projection, named after the man who first presented a chart like we know it. Can we navigate a boat from San Fernando to Point Lisas with this slide? No, we cannot, because this is a map showing details of the land. This is a nautical chart. And we can use this to navigate from San Fernando to Point Lisas and anywhere in the Gulf of Paria. So, what is the difference between a map and a chart? In a map the details are of the land, in a chart the detail is of the sea. This slide is a nautical chart. Charts with these colors are metric charts. That means the depths are in meters. The white and blue areas are permanently water. The yellow, sometimes called buff colored, areas are permanently land. The boundaries of the two blue areas are depth contour lines. We saw before that yellow shows areas that are permanently land, while white and blue show areas that are permanently water. On a nautical chart, the green indicates areas would be underwater at high tide, but exposed at low tide. This slide shows the drying height area of Claxton Bay. In addition to soundings, nautical charts give us depth information in colors. In the chart shown here, the area in the darker blue shows where the water is less than 5 meters deep. The area in light blue shows where the water is between 5 and 10 meters. The white area is where the water depth exceeds 10 meters. Land is shown in a browny yellowy color. Nautical charts are also available in electronic format for portable devices. Be cautious with these, many are not to professional specifications. Only approved electronic chart display information systems, at DIS, are allowed for professional, commercial vessels. Nautical charts will all have a title giving details of the countries and areas covered on the chart. The title tells us what units the depths and heights are in. The title tells us what voyage system is in use. This is the chart title for chart BF500. Nautical charts show details of the shape and type of coastline. The pecked line on the land on the Venezuelan side of the serpent's mouth indicates an unsurveyed coast that should not be relied on for position fixing. The solid line on the land Trinidad side indicates a surveyed, flat coast. The nautical chart tells us if the coastline is flat, sandy, marshy, etc. Here we see the drying height area off the mouth of the Caroni River. The shoreline is marked with little mangrove type trees to indicate the swamp. Here we see the Nariva swamp on the east coast of Trinidad. Here the flat coast line is shown and the swamp is shown as being slightly inland. Here is the Diego Martin coast. We can see the cliffs on the northern sides of Minos Island and Entrada Point. The contours of the western northern range and some peak heights are shown. The nautical chart shows us the location and height of prominent mountain peaks further inland. Here is El Cerro del Aripo, bottom left, and El Cerro de Uropuch, middle right. Nautical charts show us the location of known wrecks, rocks, reefs and dangerous to navigation. Here are some submerged rocks off Manzanilla Point. Nautical charts show us the location of known wrecks, rocks, reefs and dangerous to navigation. Here are some submerged rocks off Galera Point. One of the features that makes a nautical chart different from a map is the presence of soundings. Hydrographic surveyors use high-quality echo sounders and GPS to record the depths of water around the world. Their findings are adjusted for height of tide and the chart datum is printed on the nautical chart. Nautical charts show us the minimum depths of water a mariner will encounter in an area. Here are some depth soundings in Shaguaramas Bay. Nautical charts show us the details of lights on the shore that can assist with navigation. Here we have tried to highlight the leading lights and leading line for the sea lots channel. Nautical charts show us the details of lights on the coast and at sea that can assist with navigation. Here we see the top arrow point and La Lung point lights on the south coast. Nautical charts provide us with information about current. Here are some current symbols and notes in the serpent's mouth. Nautical charts can be used to plan a journey between two places. The passage planned on the chart can then be input to the GPS 